Good morning. Who would have believed it? Sunshine. It's got to be at least 12 degrees out here. It's practically tropical. Now, a gentleman in the comments mentioned that I had good tempo. And good tempo can hide an awful lot of faults. And the way you get good tempo is with the first drill I was ever taught in 1988. And that's the seven iron feet together. Really, it is that simple. Because with the seven iron feet together, you need to keep your balance and you need to use every muscle from your head all the way down to your toes correctly. So you're taking a slightly shorter swing. You're not trying to hit the ball hard, otherwise you'll fall over. And so you get all the parts of the body, especially the upper part and your hands and arms working with the lower part. And if you don't, you just fall over. Let me show you what I do going down the uh, practice ground here at the Herefordshire. Well, this drill is as easy as it sounds. Seven iron feet together. I don't like doing it off mats. I much prefer it off grass. Then I can see where I'm taking my divots with my seven iron. And I'm more than happy to hit it off a tee peg. I mean, practice is not meant to be hard. So I picked the green at the bottom of the hill. Well, there is only one green at the bottom of the hill, so I didn't have a lot of choice there. And even though my rotation is a bit messed up because of my stiff and sore neck, again, it's not one thing, it's another. I can still go through this. And you just keep doing it over and over again. In my prime, I did this twice a week, which is why I used to hit a lot of fairways and a lot of greens and maintain a five handicap. Side on. I just put an inch of daylight between my toes and that's about it. And then it's a question of trying to hit this as if you're trying to hit your seven iron about two thirds, three quarter distance. And it does take a while to get it. As you can see with these, I'm Hitting some of them fat, in fact there's one here which is practically obese, but you can see from that divot line that I'm hitting down and through and collecting the ball first most of the time. And in fact this drill is so easy, people don't do it. They always think they have to do something considerably more difficult to improve their golf. You don't. Even with my ugly collapsing swing, I can do well. Well, that's hardly a good advert for the drill, but it does get better. And I'm certain you don't want to see me hit 50 balls, walk down the hill, pick them up, come back and hit another 50 balls. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a hundred balls, seven iron feet together. You can see that I'm out of sync. So I'm hitting some fat, I'm hitting some thin. But once you get into it, once you're getting into that 40th ball, it all starts to come together. And it really does take that long. If you don't get it, if you don't get this beautiful tempo where you're meeting the ball properly, chances are you're trying to hit it too hard. This is a drill for hitting the ball correctly, not hard. And when you do get it, you're gonna start using the middle of the club. So it's gonna go further and it's gonna go straighter. You also get the speed at the bottom of the swing rather than that big heave ho from the top. So you start getting your distance because you're accelerating at the bottom and you're using the middle of the club. Now the hardest thing to do is to then pull out your driver, go to the first tee over there and hit it with the same swing. But that's what I try and do. I try and take my seven iron feet together swing to every single shot on the golf course. 
I might not hit it as far as I possibly can, but it's all about straightness and that dispersion coming down. And that's what the seven iron feet together drill will do for you. If you can do hundreds of balls, if you make it your priority, when you go to the range, you get a hundred balls, you have 10 to warm up, don't you? you have a little stretch. And then if you can do 50 or 60 of them, seven iron feet together, trying not to hit the ball hard, and then finish off the rest of the hundred by going slowly up the bag and slowly being the appropriate word. But if you can get this right, it's the best golf drill in the world. Let's go it some more. See, I just hit that full length with a what would appear to be a slow swing, but the speed is actually coming here. And not only that, I'm using the middle. It's funny how once you get this drill, once you're doing it maybe once or twice a week, how easy golf suddenly becomes when you're hitting more fairways and more greens and not losing balls. I say the hard part is taking this to the course and not trying to hit the ball too damned hard. Because that's what we all do. When you hit it well, you somehow think that you can hit it harder. Well, you can't. That last one was a foot right of my target. One foot. Well, now it's just a matter of repetition. The more you do it, the better it gets. It's as simple as that. This really is the best drill in the world for your golf. And if everything is moving together and you're keeping your balance and you're turning through to the target, it will hide an awful lot of faults you don't have to go and fix. I'll get there, it's just going to take a while. 